Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Fugan Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And sell it all. So interrupt me by a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. I'm right here with the only active Kenyan Everett uh, boxer, Collins Oja. He's going to give us an insight, you know, in his life, an insight in his boxing career. I, I didn't, I wasn't able to watch his last fight against Albon Pevisage a fight um i feel like he wasn't really prepared for okay and but he did his best when a distance with a very experienced guy like album pevisage is in level c of the fighting game of course uh collins Oja being a fighter all his life you know um he tried his best even without preparation and uh yeah uh is our, our african brother a Kenyan based in Switzerland. I want to say, um, I want to say, uh, welcome to our brother Collins Arja. You know the future, <laughs> uh, the future world champion. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, nice to have me in the show, bro. Thank you. Okay. So much. Uh, by the way, I, 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 I don't have to. You know, we must not forget about your, uh, your nickname as well, African Lion. By the way, tell me, tell me, tell me the background of that nickname, the African Lion. Like being nicknamed the African Lion, you're the first boxer to do that. Yeah, you know, it's all about you know the boxing game. I I started doing this since I was a kid. African Lion, as you know, they are they are always known for their brutali brutality, you know. And so since I was a kid, I've been fighting and. Uh, I was quite big for my, when I was young, I was, let's say, when I was 17, I was already competing at a super heavyweight. I was competing with guys who are like 20, 25, and I was named the African Lion because of my fearlessness, you know. Wherever they brought me, no matter the hedge, we could do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, like, I, I like that, I like that, I like that. So, what got you into boxing? Like, you know, you are um, a very athletic, uh, athletic uh, person. You're a very athletic, athletic uh, person. You're gifted as well. You know, I I've seen you, I I've seen you fight a guy named Fibish, a guy you really did well with. You know, uh, uh, I mean, you did uh, use your jab a lot in that fight. You know, I was kind of wondering why I, I didn't get towards the fight against uh, with, uh, with you on uh, between you and uh, Pevisa your life, but I watched yeah. uh, you know the you know the, I watched it afterwards on YouTube. Okay, um, what really happened? Uh, you know, like in that fight, you pressure for that fight. Can you like uh, tell me about it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, first of all, uh, the Pervisa is a good boxer. You know. Let's, let's be honest, you know, I don't want to be a hater, you know, since uh, because I lost to him. He's a good fighter. And when I fought him, he had uh, 15 fights. He had only one loss. And uh, they they offered me to fight. They offered to fight me. They asked me, Collins, are you interested uh, in fighting Parvicide? And I said, yes, I mean, I'll fight this guy. I'll fight anyone. And uh, how many rounds? He said, eight rounds. Uh, I've never done hit rounds before, but I said it's okay as well, no problem. Then everything was uh, was done, contacts and everything, and uh, I was ready to fight, you know. Then I went there to Hamburg, and uh, by the way, the fight because of Corona, it was no no crowds were allowed. I fought him at his home gym, you know, in Hamburg. The fight was his home gym, you know, and the fight was. Um, it was a good fight. It was a tough, tough heavyweight fight for both of us, you know. It was a tough, tough fight. It was um, a lot of brawling involved. And uh, there was nothing special. Like, uh, it, it could go anyway. I could win the fight or he could win the fight. But, you know, he was boxing at home. He was the home fighter, you know. Not, not only the home fighter, but he was boxing at his own gym. So they gave him the fight. But uh, the, even the scores were not named. If you ask me what were the scores, it, they said uh, whether it was a split decision, 
unanimous decision. I don't know about this, but I just know that he won the fight. The judges decided to, to give him the win. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have to definitely uh, agree a little bit to that. The thing is that he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a known name, you know. He's a known name in boxing and, you know. Um, and yeah, it was a VIG and animal edition, so yeah, it's something that was close. You did well. Tell me, tell me, uh, you know, uh, you know, your story, you know, um, how you became uh, a, a, a boxer, you know, what le what led into boxing and those kind of stuff. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to hear because you're from a country, Kenya. Kenya is known for. You know, like, you guys, athletic background, you know, running and yeah. a sprint and this kind of stuff. Yeah. So not really yeah. known for fighting like that. Of course, there are warriors, the Maasai warriors. We know of the Maasai yeah. warriors there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know, I know, I know of the Maasai warriors, you know, but they were, like, yeah. uh, they're not known as boxers. They just known as you know, warriors that, you know, that really fought, you know, uh, fought, uh, off invasion. Okay. Um, in the past. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, me about, uh, yeah. Know, like, uh, yeah, in Kenya, it's interesting. We are uh, known for athletics. You know, we, we are really good as a country for long distance run, like uh, 800 meters as well. Yeah, we are very famous for that, popular for that. But uh, there are other sports as well in Kenya, you know. They are, let's say, they're all, all other sports, you know. They're like handball, basketball, volleyball, all other sports. So I was raised from a boxing family. My my dad, my dad, the late, was my was one of my trainers. My grandfather was also one of my trainers. So I was I was born in a boxing family. Both my grandfather was a, was a fighter. My dad himself was a was a fighter as well. So it's something in the family. So if you ask me my first time in the gym, I can say that uh, maybe when my mom was pregnant, I was ready in the gym, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, bro. <laughs> You're very funny, man. Hi. <laughs> well, you've got, you've got a lot of charisma. Um, and I always wonder how come you have like uh, six fights? You've had like six fights. You were already 36, you know, like... Why haven't you be been active in a way? And it's just it's just like I think you had a lot of amateur fights, right? Yeah, I I, I actually had more than four hundred four hundred uh, amateur fights. You know? Wow, more than four hundred amateur fights. That's a lot. Fight, I began fighting actively. Let's say when I was twelve. When I was twelve, and uh, I've always been active. You know, except some years back when I was in the college. I was like uh, not here, not like January to December active, but I was still fighting, you know. So uh, two years ago, I won the Swiss Championship Super Heavyweight title, you know, and the amateurs. And I decided now this is not going to, I don't want to do this anymore. I've been fighting for more than 20 years now. Let me just hang up, hang up my gloves and uh, I have the kids as well coming up to boxing, you know. Let me try to nurture some new talents. Yeah, then I, I was just in the gym sometimes there, working out with some kids, doing some kids' classes. And there was a, there was a fight here in Switzerland, a professional fight. There was like a, an event, and they didn't have boxers, you know? And they called me, like the one who was promoting the event, called me, hey, Collins, there, there's, a, there's a fight in Basel. Are you interested? And I said, hey, I stopped boxing. I, I, don't, do, I don't box anymore. After the championship, I decided uh, not, not, not to set box. Then he told me, "Oh no, just uh, we can we can meet and talk." And we had a talk, and uh, we decided that we are going to fight. I didn't have a boxing license, you know, so I had to make one. And the fight was made, and I won the fight the fight via second round knockout, you know. And that's that's how my professional journey began. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have to really commend you for that, bro. Like you did well, and uh, yeah, like um, your last fight. Are you still with your team? Like because uh, it's, I, I it, 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 look, well. it, it yeah, looks not as loud as as before. What? Why not? Now you can, right? Hello, can you hear me? 
yeah I, I can hear you yeah i said um i mean your team the you know uh they didn't think they didn't they didn't seem to have a uh like a, a, a um a plan in place for you in your last fight there was no plan in place for you against uh pevisage why was it just brawling because in in your fight against P, uh, Fibich, i saw you use your jab more i sh i saw you move more i saw you box more and against uh uh, Pevisage, you didn't really do that, you know, you just fought. Yeah, you know, you know, this is the, this is the, this is the thing. When I went this, do this fight, the game plan was, I was working with inexperienced guys, guys that were, we were both in the amateurs, we were training together in the amateurs, but they, they didn't have experience in professional level, in high level of boxing. So we went to this fight, and this uh, the trainer told me that hey, you know, Collins, you're away from home. We really need this win. We are fighting in Hamburg, you know, in, in his home gym. So the only way we winning by points would be very very difficult. So the only way we can win is by knocking this guy guy out. And if we can't knock him out, then let's just stay on him. Let's put a lot of pressure on him. So I went there, you know. I was had some pressure fighting this guy at his hometown, and I said, "Yeah, let me just let's let's try to do to execute the plan." That's why from the first round it was a brawl. It was just exchange of punches, exchange of punches. But uh, that's not my style, you know. I am I'm a boxer. I love to move, and uh, I always like to make the the, the opponent looks bad, you know. Yeah, but uh... yeah, because I have really good hands, you know, fast hands. I have movement good reflexes you know i didn't use any of this for this fight and uh it was it wasn't a very good fight for me to be honest uh, I, i understand though um now what was next for you um when are you fighting next you know yeah there are, there are plans there are plans there are plans uh i think next month next we are in talks next month uh, i'll be back i'll be back next month so, I'll be back I, next month here in uh, here in Switzerland. Ho hopefully, I can watch the fight. I don't know if I can watch the fight. It'd be nice to see what what you've improved, what you've been improving on, and what you plan to do next. Uh, this is your new team that you have now. You said you have a new coach, right? Your new team. Uh, what do you? What are the? What are, what are what are your weaknesses as a fighter? What do you? What are, what are the weaknesses you see as a fighter? Uh, you know that you want that you want to improve on. My, my weakness as a fighter is uh, I always don't say no to, to any opponents, you know. I always don't say no to any fight that comes to me. This, I think, is my, my, one of my big my biggest weakness. Because uh, professional boxing is uh, is a little bit business as well, you know. It's not just like uh, how much as where you go, you fight wherever is put in front of you, you know. So... I always want to fight anybody, you know. I could fight anybody put in front of me. I've done this 400 times, plus my six amateur fights. Uh, I can I can do it with anyone, you know. And I've also been in good, good, good sparrings, you know. So this is my weakness, you know. This I would say this is my weakness. I, I don't say no to a fight, you know. So the, the plan for you now is to be, stay active until you are 10-0, and then probably fight for the uh, Swiss uh, Championship uh, belt. Do they have it there? Uh, actually, uh, before my last fight, uh, we were in, uh, we were in the talks for the African Navy title fight. Wow! The African Navy title. Who, who is the who is the who is the uh, there's champion? One, there's one guy who has, has this belt. This, he, he comes from. Uh, he's the Congolese. But he lives in Belgium, you know. So oh, he went. You to mean uh, uh, you mean uh, uh, Ilunga? No, no, no. Ilunga is not a heavyweight. Yeah, Ilunga, uh, 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 yeah, mm, uh, yeah. Ilunga is a cruiserweight. Yeah. His, his name is Jack Mulawai. I think so. He's from Congo, but uh, oh, Jack Mulawai. I know he was supposed to fight a Jack Bo at some point. And he fought, yes, uh, yes. then he later fought uh, Frank Sanchez. Yeah, Jack Mulawai. So you're looking to, you want, you're looking to, you, you are targeting that guy now. Yeah, I want, uh, you know, like, 
uh, he, he went to Russia, I think. Yeah, he, he just got a, a major win against uh, against a very good Russian pro, uh, heavyweight prospect. Yes, yes, yes. He was undefeated. He was like 20 and all. So making fight, you know, it's a business. Making this fight now with him is going to be difficult, you know? Because before this, because uh, I think he wants good fights for for, he, for for himself and for his future and for his career. So this is what I wanted. I wanted to make this title fight with him uh, in, uh, in somewhere in Africa, you know. Uh, it would be interesting. It would be interesting. Maybe in Kenya. <laughs> oh, maybe Kenya. Are <laughs> Kenyan fans, fans of boxing, though? Are they fans of boxing? Do they love boxing? Yeah, they're, 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 they're boxing fans in Kenya. They're boxing fans in Kenya. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, Afri Af Africa, you know, you know, in the continent, like boxing is not really is not really a huge sport like that, you know. So yeah, bo boxing is uh, is uh, is is popular in Kenya actually. Really it's popular in Kenya. Yeah, we have one guy like uh, one guy made it popular in the late in the eight 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 Olympics. We have a Kenyan who won a gold medal in the in the Olympics, you know, and because of this guy. Boxing was uh, is is very popular in Kenya as well. How's life in Switzerland? You know, how's life? How the, how's life training you there? You know, I would hope everything is well, huh? Uh, life, life in Switzerland is uh, is, is normal, you know. It's you 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 are, you are you are always in shape. You never out of shape. Do no, you, I'm, I'm always training. Do you train I'm every training. like you train every day? I train every day. I I just have one day off a week, you know. Wow, that's amazing, man. I think you go for bro. Yeah. Like your last fight, of course. Um, I I wasn't. I mean, of course, I know that you didn't really prepare well. You know, your team had no game plan, but you tried your yeah. best. You're a warrior. You know, you, you got hit a lot. Uh, you got hit a lot by Abon Pevisage, and you took all the punches. Kept moving forward. Like that was amazing to see. I was I was proud of you, bro. I tell you that. But I'll be back, and I'll be back stronger because right now I'm, uh, I'm so happy because I'm working with a uh, with a trainer, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm really really like so happy. We are uh, 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 things are things are coming. You'll see me soon, you know. Yeah, bro. Of course. Let me know anytime you you've got uh, you've got a yeah. fight lined up. I'm gonna talk about it. I will look into it, and I will let the fans know where where they can watch it if there is a a TV. Uh, broadcast you know uh, uh, available for it uh yeah you know i heard uh, uh, a rumor that uh you 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 fought uh you fought uh if you jagba yes yes Before. yes yes as, as i told you i'm uh i'm an old school you know <laughs> yes <laughs> some years back in uh 2015 a jagba is much uh, younger than me i think i'm let's say 10 years older than him yeah you are in the uh, African, uh, it's called All African Games 2015 in Brazzaville in Africa, you know? Yeah, you won the gold there. The I, I didn't win the gold. I, I mean, I know, I mean, I mean, I Jabba won the gold there, yeah. I Jabba won the gold there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't say you, I said he won the gold, he <laughs> won the gold, you know, in, in, in Congo, yeah, in Congo, yeah, uh, yeah. Congo Brazzaville, yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you've, you've also been in the ring uh with uh frank sanchez what do you make of like you you've heard i, I guess you've heard the 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 the, the put, potential possible fight between ajagba and frank sanchez you've kind of you you fought you've sparred both guys and yes, yes, i mean yes. like how what do you make of that of the of the matchup bro your prediction for yes. the like how, because this like the only only someone that has been in the ring with both guys can really yeah. uh, emphasize on what both guys do, uh, does best and how good both guys are. We all know that uh, Francis is uh, one of the most skillful boxer boxers in in the in the universe. You know. Um, yeah. So what do you, what do you make of this matchup, Ajakba versus uh, uh, Abu, yeah. uh, um, uh, versus uh, Francis Sanchez? Yeah, but you know there there are some levels that all the boxers are skilled. You know. If a Jaguar is not skilled, then he can't be where he is, where he is now, you know? And Sanchez as well, if he's not skilled, if uh, he's not there by good luck, you know? Yeah, so, Sanchez, Sanchez has, has had Sanchez had more than 300 amateur fights. A Jaguar didn't. So, he, of yeah. course, you have to say, you know, that you've had more than 400 amateur fights. You know, that's yes. a big experience. 
I guess that's the reason yeah. why when you fought Abon Pevizad, you 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 know you was you know, even though you wasn't really prepared like that, you know, technically, but you still was fighting and coming forward and all this kind of stuff. It's experience. So, yes. that's yeah. what I'm talking about. But look at the team behind the Jaguar. Let's be honest. This is like, uh, these are experts only, you know. Look yeah. at the team behind the Jaguar. These are guys like who are, they're like boxing encyclopedia, you know. Yeah, that's they're true. They're like, they are like uh, they know everything about about boxing about the sport and they are really good. Ajaba has a very very good team behind him. So when and you fought, when you fought Ajaba, how was it like? You know, you fought and sparred him, and uh, you know, tell me the experience uh, of both of you fight of you sparring and fighting both guys. You know, like this Ajaba is like uh, is naturally strong, naturally strong. I, I I think he doesn't even need to do strength training. He has a very, very strong right hand, you know? And his, first, his biggest weapon is the right hand. It's very, very dangerous. And his job, he has a very long job. He has long arms as well, you know, the reach, you know? And uh, when the right hand comes in, you know, it's a heavyweight. So me looking at Sanchez, Sanchez is more Cuban, more technical. But I don't know how many rounds this fight is going to be. But I believe it's going to be more than ten. It's going to be twelve. You know, be because 12. it's going to be the co-main event to World of Us uh, Fury uh, trilogy. Yeah. 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 So this is a heavyweight game. You imagine someone like a Jabba standing in front of you. This guy has a long, long arm, and this guy is bringing a hammer. His punches are like so brutal. I don't know if you watched some of his uh, last fights, how he put guys to sleep, you know? <laughs> I did. <laughs> did, did, did. Do you think Ajakba is the hardest with puncher in, currently? Uh, I wouldn't compare him with the, the, some other... The Ante Wada. Yeah, but you know, let's say like this. There are people already like so famous and they're already there for years, you know, like Deontay Wilder. So if you try to compare him with Yonte Wilder because of the name, you know, he's trying to compare Lamborghini with a small car in the street, you know. Maybe the small car is better, but they already have the name. So Ajagba is very, very talented, first of all. But when it's come to strength, just the best way to, to prove this, look how he's putting guys to sleep. Look at his last fight. <laughs> That's yeah, true. Yeah, just look at, his, look at his last fight. So, so oh, sty sty stylistically, stylistically, how do you see this fight playing out? A Jagba from Sanchez fight. How do you see it playing stylistically? I think a Jagba is a lion as well. You know, he's fearless. You have to know this guy. He didn't have some uh, build-up fights. Just look at at, at his resume. You know. This guy has been fighting top opponents, considering his level. Like, look at his first fight, second fight. I don't know how many fights he has until now. 15 Maybe fights. 15 fights. So, compare him to Sanchez. Sanchez has 18. And Sanchez has 18, but he has lots of build up fights. Yeah, that's you true. Know? He has lots of build up fights because they, they always try to build someone, build him, build him, build him, and then put him up, you know? So, me seeing comparing the two fighters let me see at their, their weapons because ajagba will always be there and you have to know that he puts pressure you know there, there are two kinds of pressure there's this pressure with the you put your you, you close your hands up like tyson and you go forward there's this pressure and there's this pressure like uh, a Jagbar Klitschko with the long job, you know, and it's coming with the long job. So tell me, how do you think Sanchez is going to get inside? We just have to be honest because he's a big guy, he's the taller, he's the taller guy, and he's the puncher. Sanchez is more like a uh, he believes in his this slickness, this uh, slickness, moving, 
but this is heavyweight, you know. So, just believe me, he will be, he will be get knocked out. Sanchez will be will be knocked out. Wow, that's a I big that's a I that that's a bold prediction. So when you spot Sanchez, uh, when you spot Sanchez, compare how how powerful is Sanchez? Like, what, did he hurt? Did he hurt you when you guys spot? No, was was uh you know. Inspiring, really. Aspiring is not a real fight, first of all. But uh, if you see, there, there, there are some things that are always there. Like the technique is always the same. Maybe the power, some, 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 some intelligent fighter like him, when he's sparring, you don't put like a hundred percent power. He puts like sixty to eighty percent. You know. But uh, looking at the Jagba, yeah, this guy is physically strong. Look at him, man. He's like uh, the body. Do you know, like like a gorilla, he's full muscles. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a, it's a tank. <laughs> yes, you know, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Jack Bay uh, has never been out of shape. The same as you. It's like you guys yeah, but from his genetics. I think so. You know, there are some fighters that uh, will struggle to to get in shape. But co considering his uh, gift of God, his genetics, you know, plus his hard work, then these are like uh, two things. This is like very good combination. So Ajagba is a very strong fighter, believe me. So there's the heart, the, wi the willingness to win. He's always willing to win, you know. And... Look at this job, number one punch, job. This guy has a long, long, long job. A long reach, uh, 87, 87 inch reach. Yes. The, lo the longest at, in, in every division. Yeah, look at his right hand. So, Sanchez, let's, we, we can't, I, I know he's training with Tim Canelo, everything, but you know, he's not Canelo. Canelo has his own gift from God as well, you know, but look at um look at him as a person he will come and try but what will he do you know this guy he went he went distance with this jack, with this jack Mulawai, the guy I, I'm, I'm, I'm i'm supposed to be fighting for the african angry touch he went full 10 rounds a jagba is another league you know so what do you make of Ajagba's critics, people saying, oh, Ajagba is slow, he needs to work on his footwork, he needs to do that, you know, all this kind of stuff, he's so upright. Yeah, you know, let me tell you, boxing is like this, there are so many experts, but these experts have never been in the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are so, so many, many experts, you know. Someone who's been he's sitting down at the sofa eating popcorns, giving, oh, I could have done that, I could have done that, I could have done that. Listen, it's always different. The, they, these guys have a game plan, you know? Do, do you expect, he's not, he's a heavyweight, he's not a light, he's not a lightweight, you know? And uh, he's, he's, he's won, he has won everything until now. So the people, the critics, no matter what you do, the critics will always be there. You know. No matter no matter what you do, you do know the, the, best. The, the, they're always saying they're always saying, "Look at Fury, look at Fury. This, this, this. He's six nine. He's that. He's not. Yes, I yes. mean, it's just like I mean, Fury. Fury is, is not built like a Jagba. Fury has been a, a Jagba is built different. Okay, Fury. No, no disrespect to Fury. He's been boxing since he was five years old. So. Of course, yeah, natu yeah, yeah. naturally, he's been doing he's been doing that for a long time. Okay, yes. Ajagba. Yes. The reason why Ajagba is built different is that Ajagba came into the scene very late and took and is yeah. taking over. Okay, so people need to give Ajagba credit because fighting a guy like Frank Sanchez, who has had more than four hundred amateur, three hundred amateur fights, is no joke. Okay, it yeah, means yeah. it means the guy uh, having a Cuban style, he's seen it all. He's seen every style. So. But has he seen Ajakba's power? No. So we'll see. No. no. And the reach, you know, you can't you can't you can't come in unless I don't know, but you can't expect something new from Sanchez, you know? He'll always be the same. 
there's always training, sparring, a game plan, everything. But when you step in the ring, you know, then is you see, you see, you see this man, you know, it's like you planning to fight uh, a gorilla, you know. You can do everything, <laughs> plan. you can do all the plan. But now when it's time to fight, you realize, no, no, this is not a good idea, you know. Yeah, so, to, his, to his credit, he caught a jabba out, so... So, uh, the first boxer to Kwaja Bahao, the first boxer. So, I, I think yeah, he, he, he's bold enough to Kwaja Bahao, so he should be bold enough to fight a Jabba. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you can always call his business as well. Maybe for him, you know, he will, he will uh, he'll have a good payday as well. But, you have to know, like, uh, Jabba is a, he's a good fighter be honest he's talented and he has a good team this is very important he has a good team he has a good trainer you know he has a very good trainer he has good people around him and they will have good preparation and uh i don't he will be knocked out just just mark my words thanks but i do appreciate your your talk, your thoughts on that uh i'm definitely hoping of course hoping and hoping to see you fight next you know hope to see you back winning probably before this before the end of this year maybe you should be make sure you you, you have you should be about be around about, about a 10 and, and one okay uh, your record so hopefully everything works well because i see you i see a lot of potential in you and you being the only active uh everweight from kenya you know it's, it's something special you know yeah, yeah so um you you are a fan of the everweight division of course you're everweight how tall yeah, are you by I, the way are you six six five or so no no i'm 198 so you're six six yes yes i'm 198 like, centimeters then you're six six like joshua yes 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 i'm six six uh, i'm, uh, I'm one of five kilos yeah okay um okay now uh looking at the every division now you know there's there are fights coming up uh of course in the fury uh uh water car trilogy you've got like uh, adam konaki against robert elinius and of course we have Anthony joshua fighting always in the Usyk in september he's been rumored bro what's your take on those fights Man, this this fight, to be honest, is difficult. Let's say Wilder Fury to start with. Wilder Fury to start with. The first fight was a draw, and then the uh, Fury won the second one, and the third one. So Wilder is a new team right 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 now. You know, he's being trained by the by Malik Scott. He's a he's a good boxer. And uh, no, nobody knows uh, much about him as a trainer, you know. But uh, he's been boxing all of his life as well. And uh, we don't know, as we don't know, we don't know what uh, what Wilder has, you know. I don't, we don't know. It's, it's been a long time. So let's wait and see, you know. <laughs> and uh, Robert Elinius uh, against Adam Konaki. You know, Elinius won the, the last fight. He stunned uh, Konaki. I, I think it's going to be a repeat because this Adam uh, is Konaki. a come forward fight. Yeah, this Konaki is a come forward. The Pol the Polish guy is a come forward fighter. You know, if you are a come forward fighter, it's different. It's, it's very difficult to adjust or to change. If you're just coming forward, and it's really is. It's really is 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 easier. It's it's very easy to 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 get caught while coming in. So for me, he's a good fighter for sure. He's hard. Uh, we don't know. I think he has some problem with discipline. He always come overweight. He always come out of shape. So for me, I'll go with Robert Linius. You know. Okay, I, hope, nah. I hope I'll go, I hope I'll go to spy him. You know, I spied him, I spied him once in Finland. <laughs> oh really? How was it? Yeah. Ah, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's a uh, good fighter. That's nice, brother. Uh, uh George Professor Olesna Usik. Yeah, this is a good matchup. Good matchup. But let's look at. Uh, let's start with Usik. 
Usyk has been very good uh, in uh, cruiserweight, you know. But coming up to the heavyweight, we saw his performances against uh, against this American guy, the first one. Charles Witherspoon. This Amer- yeah, this this Witherspoon. This guy was out of boxing for years, you know. But went uh, how many rounds with him? Seven rounds. Yeah. Uh, do you think this guy would, would go seven rounds with the AJ? Just be honest. Uh, Joshua will knock him out round one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And second, the second fight was uh, not Chisora, right? Yeah, Chisora, yeah. It was his second heavyweight fight. Yeah. And he went distance with Chisora. Arguably lost that fight, but people what? say he won. No. I think yeah, he was we- he lost the first five rounds. Yeah. But what do you think putting Chisora with AJ? Mm. Chisora is a, is a, he's a problem for anyone, but I don't think Joshua will knock him out around six. Uh, J- 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 Joshua will knock him out. He's, uh, Joshua will knock him out. Let's be honest, because Chisora is always, is just, it's just a, a come forward fighter, you know? He's very, very physically strong. He's a huge guy. But technically, look at Joshua's uppercuts, look at his left hooks, look at his right hands. You have, you have to look you have to look at his his fights. He's pu- he's nearly he's nearly had a uh, uh, skill set uh, pull and counter. As well, you know. But look look at his look at his fights again is uh, guys like Takam. Forget about the knockouts, the, the technical things that he does in the ring, you know? The movement, the counter punches, the jab how he defend after throwing the job the, the right the right hand you know do you think Chisora is, is capable of doing this thing the the answer is no so Usyk again is Chisora Usyk is good boxer but he doesn't have any advantage compared to 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 Chisora uh he compared to AJ what will he try to do? Will he try to knock out AJ? No. What will he do? He will try to move away, as always. He will try to move, box outside. But this is a top heavyweight fighter, you know? If you're boxing, if you're the smaller guy and running away from the bigger guy, it's going to be hard. The only way as a smaller guy to try try, try win against a bigger guy is to come inside, you know? Like 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 Mike Tyson, you have to come inside and fight. But if you want to box against a bigger guy, of course you can. But it's gonna be difficult. So I see AJ winning this 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 by points because Usyk is also is also is also good. You can't take anything away from him, you know. Thanks, brother. I do definitely appreciate you. Like tell the fans where to follow you. Um, you know your social media uh, handles. You know. You, 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 of course, you're on Instagram. I don't know if you're on Twitter or Facebook. I'm not on Instagram, yeah. I'm only on Instagram. <laughs> okay, okay. So tell them, uh, you know, your Instagram handle so they can follow you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm African Lounge here, Collins Ojal. You can follow me. On just My name is Collins Ojal. Just follow me on Instagram. And uh, you'll, you'll find a lot of information about my upcoming fights, about my stories, and all good stuff, yeah. And I really thank my brother here for having me today for this interview. And uh, this is just the beginning. Let's you know, let's hope for the second and third and fourth time. You know. Yeah, bro. Like always, it will. It's always good. Um, you know, it will. It will always be good to have you here because you're very knowledgeable. Uh, you 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 know you're boxing, okay? You're a boxer also, and um, who knows his box? Because not every boxer uh, knows. Uh, they're boxing, you know, you do. And that's something that is that I really admire. Uh, as an African, as a fellow, you know, the, the here is the home of African boxing. Okay, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. So, as an African, yeah. you are highly welcome. And uh, yeah. I, I will always love to have you here, you know. And I like the fact that you also, you've got a very good charisma as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, keep up, keep a, it up, I'm keep a, winning. I'm a Pan Africanist as well, you know. I'm Pan African. I'm, I'm a Pan African for sure. <laughs> 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 All 
I mean, bro, keep winning, keep making KM proud, keep making African Thank proud. You. Uh, your next fight, I'm gonna be talking about it for sure, and uh, I, I hope to watch it live so that I will see what you've been working on and you know how you're improving because I do see a lot of potentials in you. You might be 36, yeah. but you don't look 36, you know, and you have never seen you out of shape. You're always in shape. That shows the, the dedication you put in, you know. So yeah, keep on, sure. keep on doing it, bro. Like keep on, you know, working out. Keep on, uh, staying in the gym, and you know, working on your skill set, improving, and uh, and of course you reap the benefit. That's a fact. Yeah. Thank you so much, and have a nice time, bro. And you too, brother. Stay blessed. Bye bye. Bye bye.